What's going on, guys? Uh, right from the beginning, let me apologize if you hear any noise in the background. There's a little uh, necessary construction going on right, right outside of my place. So hopefully, you know, if you hear it, you don't hear it too much. But anyway, uh, I want to talk about Crisis. And I want to talk about the new bundle pack that came out where you have Crisis 1, Crisis 2, and Crisis, Crisis 3. And uh, uh, they, you know, they redid them. They, they redid the visuals and all of that, and, and, and everything looks great. Now, out of these three, I played one, never finished any of them. Uh, I played one, uh, played a good deal of it when it first came out played two but then got distracted and because at that time when uh that game came out and one to be honest with you i was the type of gamer who was so into buying games when they came out i wanted to play the newest thing so uh you know all it took was for for me to to, to lose uh, interest in one game was for a new game to come out and uh, of course, I'm not that kind of gamer now. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm more into my budget and I have quite a backlog. And usually by the time I buy games now, uh, it's not no reflection on the quality of the game, but I have such a backlog and so many games to play that by the time I buy some of them, uh, with few exceptions, uh, because I do have my my favorites, and when they come out, I'm gonna buy them the day you know day one, like Gears of War. Uh, so you know there's that. But usually I end up catching a sale. Sometimes I end up catching a deep deep sale. And you know this is even with great games that are like rated high. I just simply I'm not gonna go out and keep buying all these games, and I can't even play them. Uh, you know till six months, a year from now, whatever, because I'm so backlogged. But anyway, I want to talk about specifically Crisis 1. I hear a lot of people saying, don't play Crisis 1, just skip over it because the, the, the controls suck and all of that. Okay, let me say this. Okay, the, the controls do suck, especially if you're going to run and gun. If you're going to run and gun, it's never gonna work. You're gonna get frustrated. You're gonna get killed. The 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 AI is the AI enemies are very aggressive. They flank. They come from all different directions, and they can shoot. So, the best way to play that game, and if you like stealth, you win. You will enjoy it. If you don't like stealth, you won't enjoy it. So that's the end of that story. But I ask you to think. Think Ghost Recon Breakpoint when it first came out. A lot of people didn't like that game when it first came out because it, it was a game that was not fun to run and gun. Now that game is most famously known for being a fantastic stealth game where you go through a very methodically, you take your time, you pick your targets, you pick your positioning, and you know, you work with, and usually you, you like a lot of the people, YouTubers that I like, my favorites, they like to go into the camp and you know, a lot of times they'll take people out, you know, one by one with a sniper rifle, but the whole idea is uh, not to be detected. Now in Crisis One, because you have a cloaking device, it's not so much about not being detected because you are going to be detected. It's about making it very difficult for the AI to find you. Now, as you can see here, uh, I'm in cover, I'm, I'm, I'm in the brush. So when you're in the brush, you use that time to charge up your cloaking device. When you charge it up, you come out, you pick your targets first, of course, you survey the land. You su survey the landscape, see where your enemies are. Sometimes you're gonna have to work your way in a perfect position to take on an enemy. Because if you try to take them on head on, you're gonna lose. 
So you have to be in the perfect position. It's going to be a lot of coming out in the open, working your way to some cover, getting down. Sometimes you're going to have to squat down, let your cloaking device charge. And it's all about positioning. Sometimes you're going to see an enemy. You're going to have to work your way to that enemy, get the perfect angle on them. But at the same time, you need to make sure that when their backup comes, you're in a position to where you can get to some cover and put on that cloaking device while you're in cover. Now, if they get too close to you, even when you have the cloaking device on, they can still tell that you're there if they get too close to you. So when you play the game, another key thing is to get you a good uh, a automatic rifle with a scope on it. Now, you're not going to start with one with a scope on it. You're going to start with one with a silencer. I quickly ditched that. Okay. So you need to be patient and learn how to use your cloaking device and learn how to get the correct angles on the enemies so that you can easily take them out. It's all about positioning. And you want to be in a position to where it's very difficult for them to flank you because they will. Now, I'm a distance guy. I love to take people out with a scope. So it's very difficult for the AI to flank me. I try to make sure that there are either hills or maybe I'm in some sort of uh, structure where there's uh, either one way in or in order to get to a back door, they have to work their way to me and I can take them out as they approach the structure that I'm in. So this is a very good stealth game. You can enjoy yourself playing this game if you're someone who likes to play a lot of methodical stealth tactical games if you're patient yes if you want to run and gun people are absolutely right this game sucks the controls are not good enough to play this as a running gun and and i want to say this too you can also go into the settings and you can uh decrease the sensitivity if you find that it's too the controls are too sensitive uh, you can decrease that if you want a little bit more sensitivity, depending on your personal taste, you can increase it. But either way, this is not a running gun game. That is abs that is an absolute truth. I'm not denying that. But if you love stealth and once you start mastering when to use that cloak, that cloaking device, how to get your positioning on the enemy, that that is so fun. This is a tactical game so if you're a tactical gamer this is a game that you can actually enjoy so okay guys we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here uh that's it i just wanted to you know put my opinion out there on this i mean why buy a a trilogy uh and not play all of the games that come in the trilogy i mean that's to me that's that's ridiculous so uh just i think if you take my advice I think you'll enjoy it. The only way you won't enjoy it, if you just if you just don't like stealth, if, if you just only love running gun, then yeah, I'll admit that this is not going to be the game for you. I would still say try to play it. You know, I mean, you bought it. It, it you know, you got it anyway, so just try it. And uh, if nothing else, just to see, you know, what it's like. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be it in the future. Look forward to more videos of me giving commentary and my opinion on different things going on in the uh, gaming universe and until then as usual stay safe